Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'd like to show you guys about uh, how to prepare your body shell, RC body shell, for paint. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, I have a, a mini pickup body shell and uh, I've already cut it all out. So, basically, uh, as you can see, it uh, uh, looks pretty sweet, don't you think? Uh, and in order for us to do this, uh, rather, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is a tutorial, but I would just like to let you guys know how I do it. Uh, and so, the two things that you would need uh, is basically an X-Acto knife. Uh, depends if you have a blade, you could use a blade, but any X-Acto knife works better. Uh, as you can see, so basically that's all you need. 15 blade if I'm not mistaken and you would need a body scissors so as you can see it's it has a curve it's curved so that will help you cut around the wheel archers uh, and it's it's a very handy tool to have So first things first, what you want to do is you want to score the body. So basically when you buy the body, they have scored lines all around, all around here. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to take the exacto knife and you want to just lightly score it following that line, just lightly. Just make sure there's a score line, don't press too hard and just follow the line nicely. So once you're done with that phase, then all you need to do is use your body scissors and actually cut vertical lines into it, basically to break it down, to make it smaller. So once you do that, it'll be easier for you to, be easier for you to cut the shell smoothly so this way you have a nice smooth edge similar to this you can see smooth edge so then once you have the body cut out you need to get yourself some 600 grit sandpaper uh, you can use latex paper silicon carbide waterproof depending on what's available in your in your area uh, I'm using this uh, Sali brand uh, silicon carbide uh, sandpaper uh, basically 600 grit so as you can see it's pretty smooth actually it's not too rough so this would be useful to smoothen out um, the body once you've done the cutting so I mean there might be some sharp edges there might be some um, uh, uh, rough spots maybe you know rough here rough around the edges maybe at the corners here it may be rough so use that sandpaper you can use the end of an exacto knife, wrap it around the sandpaper, and then just go around, go around at an angle, just to smoothen it out, and this will give you a nice radius. <clears throat> so we can see close up, the radius is pretty smooth. We have a nice straight line here. So once you've done that, this body shell is almost ready. It's almost ready for paint. So there's two other things that you will need to do before actually prepping it, uh, before actually painting it. And the most important thing is actually to wash it. Wash the cover nice and clean, make sure there's no oils on the inside. Uh, make sure that you have good adhesion to the paint and that way um, when you give it a nice coat of spray the paint actually sticks on it and you know there won't be any bad spots or runs or you know oil patches or anything like that so as you can see this body is fresh it's fresh so from the factory they come you know pre-coated have a protection layer on the outside so you don't have to worry about overspray 
and once that's done uh, you can just peel it off so once you complete with your spraying and everything you can just just lift it and peel off the protective layer to give that beautiful sheen So there's a little front view of the cover. So basically as you can see I have cut it out with a little diffuser at the bottom. Uh, that portion is just the extra of the cover. So it's up to you uh, if you want to follow the lines or if you want to have a diffuser, different look, uh, entirely up to you. So as you can see, you gotta sort the corners here. Just to sandpaper, sandpaper to make it smooth, the smooth transitions from here to here. That's the that's the way to get it a nice. As you can see, mine is a little bit jagged here, but I'll be running it with the sandpaper just to give it a nice smooth uh, transition.